Well, for anybody that I see on the trip, this is where I live. Uh, this will be video in my course, Frank Some 100. This will be video 170.1. Walking up the lane, almost every building that you see is sort of under construction. Uh, that building right there doesn't have the whole roof on. It will be a blacksmith shop. The building behind it is going to be has my major collection of tools. And there'll be about 15, I would say maybe 15 to 20 shops inside there. That building right there, closer, has got a sawmill in it. Dates from about 1890. The building behind it is, we call it the cow barn. I want to convert that into, well, uh, still a barn, but a barn where people live as well, in the style of the uh, of, a, of, a, of a German uh, a German farmhouse. Uh, again, there's the blacksmith shop. Everything is under construction. Everything. I, I need about one more year. That very odd looking building right there. It may be a one room school. It's over a well. Maybe a library. I don't know. That's the wagon shed. That house up there with the laundry hanging out, that's where I live. Uh, done somewhat in the style. Oh, it's hard to say what style it's in. Uh, okay, I'm going to walk just a little bit further. I don't want to show you everything because everything looks so rough. Uh, there's inside. I have all this work to do to, to clean that up, but I got about one more year. I figured it would take me two years. That's the mill. I call that the mill or the powerhouse. There's an eight-foot water wheel. I'm going to be turning in that, driving a line shaft into the other buildings. Here's where I can make charcoal, a retort. That's nicknamed the beast. That's an incinerator under construction. And there will be a water wheel beside it. Uh, about a seven, eight foot water wheel right there. And this is my house. Don't want you to look too close. I'm gonna stop for now. Okay, walking on. We heat with nothing but firewood. We don't have any anything else but firewood. And this house that I'm coming to now is called the Cherry Tree House because it was moved here from Cherry Tree, Pennsylvania. My mother was born in that house. I tore it down, trucked it down here about 70 miles, put it back up. It also is not finished, but it will be. And if you come to visit me, that's where you can stay. It'll be a guest house. This is called Barbie Falls. I have names for all my waterfalls and I have probably 20 on the farm although this is a high one and there's a view of the pond and there's the cherry tree house from this side. I did want to say that all over the place down here there are old foundations. There was an entire village here maybe 20 or more buildings uh, that were bulldozed under but I can still find them. It's one of the reasons it looks so rough. Now I'm up on top of the hill behind the buildings. That's the cow barn. I'm surrounded by lumber. There's my house that I can use for various projects. That's the roof of the cherry tree house. And uh, this area is called Dutch Corner. The mountain makes a corner right here. Oh, you can hear a raven. There he is. I don't know if you can see that raven flying. Now that's the clear cut up there in the mountain. The view up there is really nice. Uh, if you want to see this on Google Earth, type in the address 151 Camp Ranch Lane 15522 and you'll see exactly where I'm standing. You'll see this lumber. This is Erica Falls. Uh, down there at the bottom of this falls, I'm going to move, when I come back from Europe, I'm going to move a little barn from my neighbor's property over here. I'm going to put a water wheel on the side of it and another sawmill. Those are pieces to the sawmill down there. That's the sawmill that is already sort of set up. The reason these pieces are off the roof and I haven't fixed them is because I've got bad luck with falling off roofs. And if I have to fall off a roof, again, I, I want to make sure it's after, after I've made my trip to Europe. Um, I can limp around the farm then. All these pieces, uh, We'll make a sawmill, a second sawmill, almost identical to the one that's, uh, that's already sort of set up. And there you can see that sawmill, it's lined up with the blacksmith shop. Okay, one more stop. 
There's a view of this property about 1880 or 1870. All of those buildings are gone. Uh, and then here's a view of the property about 1955. Uh, three of those buildings are still there. And finally, here's the view from our porch. Uh, pretty soon the frogs uh, start to sing this evening. There's the pond. Uh, I built this out of an old barn or, or several old barns. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed the tour. Bye.